Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, stop the stinking thinking. Let's get positive. Let's get positive. Let's get positive. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world, but let's get positive. And I've got, actually got some scripture that can help us on this. You know, the Bible says in Philippians 4, verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, that doesn't mean all the news you get is going to be um, welcoming. But if it's pure, if it's honest, if it's the truth, well, you know, think on it. Now, understand it. In other words, realize it. But at the same time, stay positive. For the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. See, we're not conformed to this world, but we've been transformed by the renewing of our mind. And one scripture says, put on the mind of Christ and love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your strength, and your mind. And when you put on the whole armor of God, put on the helmet of salvation. See, the battlefield for the soul is in the mind. And I've been preaching that for 31 years. And so when you hear me say, stop the stinking thinking, well, what I'm saying is, don't allow the, the uh, rhetoric from the, the lips of the lies of Lathiathan of Lucifer himself. Don't be deceived by his deceptive approach. He will do this. The thief cometh not, Jesus said, but for to kill, steal, and destroy. All right? And who is the accuser of the brethren? It's not God. It's Lucifer himself. And who sows discord among the brethren? It's not God and it's not the Christians. It's those that are walking in darkness. So if you get yourself caught in a judgmental way, if you find yourself walking in a critical spirit, if you find yourself living in condemnation, you have to stop the stinking thinking. Now, that doesn't mean that whenever we can see the overall movement of the antichrist spirit or the overall darkness that satan brings it doesn't mean we're oblivious to it or that we ignore it or that we you know walk around with rose colored glasses we see we have to be wise as serpents and harmless and doves but your brothers and sisters in christ is not your targeting enemy your brothers and sisters in christ are your brothers and sisters in christ the devil brings every evil and dark work. But let me give you a couple more scriptures. I want you to be positive. Stay positive. You've got Christ. If Christ before you, who can be against you? And greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. All right? And uh, uh, here's what the Bible says also in Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Mm, see, you got to get, you got to have the joy of the Lord as your strength. All right. Philippians 4, 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Pray about it. Be thankful. Love the Lord. Give, the, give your request to God and expect God to do something good in your life. Just know it by faith, okay? Because there's not enough room in your heart for fear and faith. Pick which one you'd rather live in. I live in faith. And uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Oh, man. Praise the Lord for that. Stop the stinking thinking and start walking in the positive joy and love of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. I'm not a doom and gloom preacher. I'm just the reality of the fact that the world is in trouble. But Jesus said in me, you shall have peace. And no matter what's going on all around me every day, you cannot take away the joy that I have in my heart knowing 
that I'm in the hands of Jesus Christ. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. We are, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you we got plenty of time. Don't worry about it. Don't be negative. No, we are running out of time. It's almost midnight. Here's the good news. Five virgins are ready. They got on the wedding garment. They got oil in their lamps and vessels. Their light is bright and burning, and they're expecting the bridegroom to come any minute. Five positive virgins are ready, and five virgins are not. Are you saved? Time is running out. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Accept him into your heart by faith, and be saved by his grace.